All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back in the tackle store today. We got a bunch of stuff happening. Things are finally starting to come together and we are getting very close to opening. We got us a couple freezers back here, which will have some frozen bait. Right now it's just housing some drinks, some beers, some topo, and of course some ice cream. We also got the podcast booth, which I think nothing really new has happened. I don't think since last time I showed you. We do have the window in. So we got some nice glass here now. Also got a TV back there. Might have some uh, sponsorship or something like that. Still waiting on the sign. It should be here very soon. We do have a bunch of the shelving in here though. We picked all this up from Bed Bath & Beyond. Matthew has no idea how to take the shelves off. You, get, you gotta, he, like, he struggles every you gotta time. like hit it. Easy. I don't really know why we put the shelves on knowing <laughs> we're gonna put them on here. I don't, I don't know Somebody if, didn't think what that the through. thought process was. So when we bought these, they came with just these solid backs, but we bought some beadboard, or not beadboard, um, pegboard. We bought some pegboards, we're gonna slide those in there and put the hooks and hang all the tackle. But right now, I think we got five sections. We're hoping maybe to get rid of one, give us a little bit more room, but we'll just have to get everything down here and start organizing the store to see how much room we really are gonna need, because we don't really know until we get all the Y'all comment below, let me know what you think about the new shelving. They're also working on the changing rooms back there. Of course the floors, I've already seen the floors, but they are looking sweet. But I got some friends in town from Tennessee. I'm gonna take them out surf fishing in the morning and see if we can get on some good fish. And so I'm gonna catch y'all when we get out there. All right guys, we made it out here to the beach. We got a little bit of a point here. And on either side, we got a nice deep hole. And so I'm gonna throw the whiting set up over here. I just got 10 pound fluorocarbon, size four circle hook and a little bead. We're just gonna to toss this out in the deep water. See if maybe we got some whiting hanging out around here. And then off this point, I'm gonna throw out our pompano rigs and see if we can't get out to some deeper stuff and see if we can't find those pompano running out there. The next setup, we got Salty's pompano rigs, some fresh dead shrimp and a little piece of fish bites. I'm gonna walk on out here just a little bit. I'm not waiting too far, it's a little cold this morning. It's like mid 50s. We got some ghost shrimp mounds over here. All right, sling that out there. Get in that deeper water. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find some of these ghost shrimp. There's a decent amount of mounds over here, so hopefully we can get us one or two. Problem this current is moving so quick. Oh, there's one. Well, <laughs> I had one, but the current's going so fast, you don't have much time to grab it. All right, lately sand fleas have seemed to be the ticket for Pompano. They're still not around very thick, so they are tough to catch. We're gonna see if we can get us a few. There we go, Kelton. We got one. Yay. Little sand flea for Kelton. We actually ended up getting three. Three in one scoop is good for this time of year. I was able to find some sand fleas. So I got another Salty's Pompano rig. This is the Beach Bum Edition. Got a little sand flea and tipped it with some pomp candy fish gum. Again, trying to get to some deeper water. We got Kelton over there trying to rake some more sand fleas. There's a fish. Uh, you get the next one. This is on the sand fleas out there. I was just about to switch and put a ghost shrimp on. Walking back to the cart and it got smoked. It was fighting pretty good. See if we got the target species here. This one was launched way out. It's not really fighting a whole lot now. Just kind of dragging them in. See what it's gonna be here. Pompano would be awesome. We got some friends in from Tennessee. I know they'd love to eat some Pompano tonight. So you over or under this one? Not quite there yet. All right, it's coming up in the surf now. I don't see it yet though. Oh, there he is, there he is. Pretty certain it's a Pompano. Yep, it is a pomp. 
get him out of these waves. Get him out of these waves. I got it. Nice. Flea. I got it, Flea. Good job, dude. We got a pompano, Kelton. That is what we're after today. No, really. That's a cool fish. That is a cool fish. That is a pompano. I'm scared to touch the fish. What? Just touch him right here. Just touch him right here. You want to hold him? No. no? Kelton, you want to hold him? Yeah. Oh my god. Is it a pompano? That is a keeper. That's a good one. Can I hold it like this? Yeah. They don't have feet? No. Like nice. What do you think? You want to eat him for dinner? No, lunch. Eat him for lunch? No. All right. Sweet. So I'm going to try again for some ghost shrimp. <clears throat> the current seems to have chilled out a little bit. Maybe I can find one. There's one right there. That is a fatty too. It's a good size one. We'll go ahead and rake him up. Uh, we just caught that pump on the sand flea, but since I just pumped this nice ghost shrimp, I'm going to go ahead and put it out too. I do still have sand fleas on the other rod. I started off with the shrimp on that one, but I did already bring it in and switch it to sand fleas, so I didn't even have any shrimp. We got this miracle thread, just like some nylon string. Just gonna wrap it around that body, help them stay on the hook a little bit better. They are very soft. Usually when I use ghost shrimp, I don't put anything on the bottom drop, but I, already, I still have a sand flea on the bottom, so. This setup will have a ghost shrimp and a sand flea. Ghost shrimp up top, sand flea on the bottom. Wait out here a little bit. Try not to get my phone wet. Well, we finally got our first bite and got that nice pompano. We've been out here for like two hours. That was the first bite of the day. Uh, still got some sand fleas. Just put that ghost shrimp out. I do have some regular shrimp out on the whiting rod over there. See if we can find anything over in that deep pocket but gonna hang out a little bit longer hopefully can get on some more pompano that is the game plan gonna have some friends over for dinner tonight need some fish to grill up so hopefully we can get on some more fish gonna hang out and uh see what happens get it reeled in get it really in reeled in reeled in real quick real quick let me make sure we got the fish because he hit and was swimming Hang on a second, let's see if we got him. He might be swimming in. Or might have, there he is. There he is, Preston. Right. Who wants it? Somebody take it. Take it. Anybody. Preston. Real. They hit and swam in fast. You got him, Captain? You don't have to back up too far, okay? Hey, 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 you don't have to do all that, just real. Don't jerk him. Just keep the rod up and real and keep it tight. But don't jerk them around, you might lose them. Yeah. You got him. What do you think it is? Pompano. Pompano? He's jumping out there. Pompano. 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 Oh, he's fighting, he's fighting. Oh. Here, walk forward, walk forward. Real quick, real quick, real fast, real fast. We're going to go under this one. Keep rolling quick. All right, you got him. I see him. Keep going. Don't give up. Keep going. Oh, he's fighting strong. Oh, I see him. I see him. No, it's a pompano. He does not want to come up to the beach, Kelton. You see him? Yes. Oh. Yeah! That's so cool! Another keeper! Good job, Kelton. That is, All right. big, that is a big one. Good work, Kelton. All right. Getting closer to having some dinner. I was raking the sand fleas and raked up a little baby flounder. I raked up a little baby flounder. Oh, dude, here. that's sweet. Yeah. Daddy! How did you manage that? Daddy! I have no idea. Daddy! Yeah. About 10 years, buddy. There you go, buddy. Where is he? Leave him alone. The line went completely slack. I don't know 
know if it's still here. I think he's on here. He might have got off. He's, he's not on here, I don't think. My line was completely slack. Maybe. Yeah, he's here. There he is, there he is. He swam like, my line was like all the way over there. Looked over the line, I was dang there laying on the beach. Let's see what we got. It's gotta be a pomp enough if it runs in like that. There he is. Looks like a pump. It is a pompano. Nice. Well, we got a one man limit. I think this is the biggest one of the day too. He is fat. Is that your first one? Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. First pompano. So that's what you're fishing for right there, huh? Yes there. sir, that's a pompano. Oh wow. Yeah. You care if we get a picture of it? Not at all. Get, get the camera off. He's probably 16, 17. Yeah. Probably. What's the limit on them? They gotta be 12 oh. numbers on this set. I can't, yeah, I, you can like barely. The zero's right there. 16 total. That's a hollow. That's a good one. But well, we said we we're leaving at 12. It's 11.58. <laughs> Last minute fish. All right, guys, we're back in the house. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Yeah! Now we did cook some of the pompano last night for our buddies and we have a little bit extra and so we're going to try a little bit of pompano fish dip. I've made some smoked fish dip before but never with pompano. Let's so give it a try. Switch and we're going to use this. Right. Yeah, this is a seasoning that I, I just made it myself. I use it a lot on ribs and brisket. Um, yeah. It's pretty much it's salt, pepper, garlic, delicious. onion powder, paprika, chili powder, some cumin. Here, I'm gonna hold it. You guys sprinkle it gently. Those are really big holes in that shaker. Here, you let me do this. The shaker has like giant holes in it, so if Kelton does it, we're gonna have way too much. I'm just gonna lightly season this pompano. Both sides here. Austin did catch his first pompano on that trip, which was pretty dang cool. Always fun getting people on a new species of fish. Have you caught pompano before? You have, you caught one in the video. Remember when we were fishing with Preston? I know. When I caught that, because I had not I catch any before? Yeah. Ew. They've all seen you catch more pompano. You caught a bunch. Daddy. What? Daddy, um, I don't see how much we got. I need something pitching. I did the touching pigeon pool and, and we did it alone trying to pitch. Okay. But I'm going to go get the smoker set up to 200 degrees. We're going to throw the fish on there. Let it ride. I have no idea how long this is going to hey. take. Uh, we're just going to let it go and see. You just want it to be nice and flaky. Obviously fully cooked through. So we're just going to keep an eye on it hey. and uh, try some smoked fish dip. Alright guys, so this is my pit ball set. Uh, needs a little bit of a cleaning. We're going to turn it on here. Set the temp to 200 degrees. Let it come up the temp. I got a Daddy, rack. Daddy, what is this? This is a Kelton's little homeschool garden here. We got a little bit of everything. Got some strawberries. And, and, got some and, carrots down in here. And March was some right Some broccoli. There. Some and Brussels sprouts. And tomatoes. And jalapenos. And some more carrots. Mm -hmm. Parsley. Or is that parsley? I don't know if that's parsley. That's basil. I don't know, is that parsley or is that thyme? Somebody comment down below let me know. But I don't see the... Yeah, the top rack to the smoker is over here. Oh, uh -huh. We did a brisket the other day and took the rack out. Why take that we'll thing put the out fish then? up top once we get up to temp and uh, uh -huh. let it ride. Oh. Alright, come think it's ready? Uh-huh. Let's give it a check. Just check it. Ooh. Oh. Looking pretty good. Can I get it? Yep. Just put it in the bowl. Daddy, I want to try his rib. Oh. Ow. Don't touch the grill. It burnt my air. Ear bowl. Daddy, I want to try it. Perfect. Turn it up. Alright, can you hit the power button and turn it off? Hey, no. Nope. Nope. Yep. Alright, now 
that the fish is ready, we gotta shred the fish. Help me, can you shred it? What's shredding? You gotta make it into little pieces. No. Yeah, look, use these and just like smash it. Ah! Can you do that? Yeah. Alright, don't make a mess. Smash it and smash. Alright, and for the dip, first we need some mayonnaise. Of course we got Dukes. So we need a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Come on. Keep smashing, Colton. And the recipe calls for a third a cup of sour cream. Salted. We've been switching sour cream for some Greek yogurt. Salted. I guess it's a little healthier. It's starting. Chill, boys. Alright, don't get it here with the mayonnaise. Cut one bit. Uh, yeah, go for it. Scoop all that up. Uh, Just don't make a mess. Now we're getting that smashed up. Yes. I'm squeezing it. Don't squeeze it, smash it. Alright, now we gotta add some Parmesan cheese. And put in there. Bring that ball over here. Two ounces. This is six. So a third a bag. Good enough. Maybe too much. Can't ever have too much cheese. That's Can't way that too much. All right, we're gonna mix in this cheese a little bit. And then let's see what this is. And anyone just season it to taste. I'm gonna start with some Tony's here. Hey, want to take that from me? I'm putting it on. You can always add more. You can't take any away. So a little bit at a time. Mix it up. Knox, you wanna start dumping some fish in there? But I'm dumping some. No. Let Knox go first. <coughs> Get some. Don't do it all. Don't do it all. Okay. Well, I'm not touching it. Well, you got clean hands. What? <laughs> I said you got clean hands. Yeah. Maybe. No. Not. We're done with that. Stop, Daddy. I think I may have needed a bigger bowl for this. That's all right. Way Finish mixing in this fish. Too small bowl. That is way too small bowl. This fish dip works really good with super oily fish. Um, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel are really good. Like I said, I've never done it with pompano, but figured we'd switch things up instead of just frying it or baking it or blackening it. Try something a little Ew, bit different. Whoa, no All right, it's time to taste it, boys. No. No. You gotta taste it. All right, we got some Ritz uh, crackers. Go ahead and taste this fish dip. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. No. Try a couple. No. <laughs> you like mayonnaise. You like sour cream. You like cheese. <laughs> you like fish. I need all that. Are you just gonna eat the chip? Yeah. I'm gonna try a little bit. Yummy. What do you think? It's mine. This is mine. The whole thing? <laughs> Cotton's running away with the fish dip. Mm. Bring that back. It's mine. Share with your mom. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Noxie. I don't know. I'm trying to eat and that's it. Mmm. No one. I got a mouthful. <gasps> you like it? No? This turned out really good. This is perfect for summer. Take it with you to the pool, to the beach. If you're down here on vacation, very easy to cook. You could probably just cook the fish in the uh, in the oven. Maybe some liquid smoke if you do want the smoky flavor. Assuming that you can't use the smoker at your condo or wherever you may be staying. But a uh, perfect little snack. Mm. Highly recommend. Everything I use today is going to be linked down below in the description. If you want to pick up some rods, reels, or the Pompano rigs, whatever it may be that we're using, everything linked down below. Check out the store, beachbumoutdoors.com. Appreciate it, guys. Until next time. Y'all take care.